I'm going to show you how I use AI to record, transcribe, summarize, and organize meeting notes, both voice and text, for free using Notion, ChatGPT, and a couple of free utilities. No complicated integrations or monthly fees. And this doesn't just work for meetings. You can use this method whenever you need to summarize any audio or text file. Let's get into it. To audio record meetings, I just directly record the meeting in the free version of the Otter app for iPhone or Android. Just search for it in the Play or the App Store. With the free version, you can record up to 30 minute meetings. Otter is a good choice because it allows us to both record and transcribe our meetings at the same time so that they're prepared to be summarized and sent to Notion by ChatGPT. Otter actually features a summary option that you can take a look at as well, but I like to filter my meetings through a more customized ChatGPT prompt. Once you record a meeting, tap on the three lines drop down and then tap on conversations. Tap to open up the audio file that you'd like to transcribe. Now tap on the three dots at the top and choose export. Choose the option to export to text. Feel free to customize the options to your liking on this next screen in Otter and then tap continue at the top. Now just airdrop it to your computer or send it using one of the other options. Now that we have a text transcript of our meeting on our computer, let's move on over to Notion at notion.so and create a place where we can store all of our prompts, transcriptions, and summaries. Create a Notion account if you don't already have one, and then create a new page by clicking on the plus icon. Name this page Meeting Notes or whatever you want to call it. Then create a second page within the first, like this. I'm going to call this one Summaries. Choose the table template for this page and then create a new database over to the right. Add another column to this table and make the data type URLs. This table will store all of our meeting transcript and summary information. Finally, we're going to create another subpage inside of meeting notes and call it prompts. We can just create this as an empty page. It gives us an easily accessible location right beside all of our meeting notes and summaries to store our prompts so that we can easily copy and paste them right into ChatGPT. Now I have a ChatGPT prompt that I pre-created that's copied to my clipboard, and I'm going to paste it in here to use in the future. Feel free to copy and paste the prompt, create variations, or add it to your own Notion, whatever you want to do. A link is in the description. I've done my best to set it up in a way that will encourage ChatGPT to create meaningful and useful meeting summaries highlighting important details, discussions, decisions, and actionable items. Feel free to modify the prompt to your needs and consider creating multiple variations for different situations. So now that Notion's set up, let's move on over to ChatGPT at chat.openai.com. Go ahead and log in or create an account, and then before we start feeding our meeting transcripts and prompts in, there's one more thing that we can set up to make things just a little bit easier. This step is optional, but recommended. I'm going to install the ChatGPT to Notion Google Chrome plugin. You can just do a Google search for it and then find it in the Chrome Web Store. It's open source and doesn't raise any security flags. Once it's installed, you can take a look at it in your toolbar by clicking on the extensions dropdown, and then we can go ahead and find chat GPT to Notion. We can even pin that at the top. And when we click on it, you'll notice that we're asked which pages within Notion this extension should have access to. So we wanna give it access just to the particular page we created for our meeting notes. So we'll go ahead and select meeting notes and then click allow access. Okay, so now I've moved back here to Notion and we're just going to click on the prompts page and we're going to copy this entire prompt so that we can paste it into chat GPT. With that copied, I'm going to move over to ChatGPT and I'm just going to paste it right in. And we'll send it. Notice that ChatGPT now asks us for the transcript, so we can actually just drag the text file right in here that we got from Otter earlier, or if you have your meeting notes somewhere else, you can even just copy and paste them in, however you wanna send it to ChatGPT. So here's the meeting notes on my desktop in text format. I'm just going to drag that over into ChatGPT and then I'll send it. Okay, so you can see ChatGPT is now printing out the summary. We've got the date, the time, the location, participants, and it's going to go through the entire prompt that I set up for it. Now, while it's doing that, let me actually just show you what the original transcript looked like. So if I just open up this text file, we can see that this was the transcript. 
It's about a three minute transcript. Um, you can see there's no information about what date or time or who the people were. All the information that ChatGPT is getting is from the actual conversation that went on. So we can see that ChatGPT has now organized this really nicely for us um, and has the agenda items in here. Move this to the side here. We have our objective, our key discussions. We have the decisions that were made, so that's obviously very important. Same with actionable items. Then we've got some next steps and additional notes. And again, this is all based on the prompt that I copied and pasted first into Notion and then here into ChatGPT and that I'm giving you a link to in the description of this video. But like I said, modify that prompt however you'd like to best fit your situation. And you can use the same meeting transcript and modify your prompt and test it out here in ChatGPT to see the different summaries that you can come up with. Maybe you can find something that works better for your situation. Okay, but now we need to get this summary moved over to Notion. So here in ChatGPT, if I just scroll up to the top of this summary, not the entire conversation, just this summary, you'll notice that there's a pin icon. And when I click on it, it activates the extension that we installed earlier. You'll notice that it has access to our summaries database. So if we just hit the check mark there and then click on save, this will now save a link to this summary right in Notion. So let's move back over to Notion and let's go to our summaries page. Here's our table. You'll notice that we now have this um, item in our table and it has a URL to go to the chat and it will take us right down to that particular summary that we pinned with our extension. Now, alternatively, you don't have to use the pins. You can actually go up here to the top bar here in Chrome, click on the drop down for the extension, and then you can choose save full chat. Now, if you don't like having to click on a link and come over here into ChatGPT, you can just copy and paste. So you can select all of this summary information, hit copy, and then you can go over here to summaries. You could add another column here in Notion, and we'll just make it text. We can give it a name and call it summaries. And then we could go ahead and just paste the summary in there. So this one meeting, we now have all this information in Notion and we won't have to go back over to ChatGPT to review it. Feel free to add additional columns for things like date or location. We can use AI in the future to automatically fill in those fields for us. And that's it. We've now transcribed, summarized, and organized our meeting notes for free using a couple of simple AI tools. There are methods that are more streamlined for transcribing meeting notes with ChatGPT and having them sent to Notion, but they often involve complicated integrations using utilities like Pipeline, often monthly fees, and then regular maintenance. Hopefully this provides a solution that you can use today to easily summarize your meeting notes. If you're new to using ChatGPT, Notion, and or Otter, it's a great way to get your feet wet to start using AI to streamline your workflows. And remember, you can always mix and match these tools with other tools to best fit your particular processes. As you become more familiar with the tools, you can make a more informed decision about which AI integration tools that you'd like to use moving forward. If you wanna learn more about what AI can do, make sure you check out this video right here where I use AI to determine how much air my house HVAC system is leaking. I wish you the best of luck getting all your meeting notes summarized and organized. I'm Anson Alexander and I will see you in the next one.